Hello viewers, me and team here. Welcome back to Let's Play Heroes of Might and Magic 5. In the last part we took care of the Queen campaign, so now we are in the second campaign. Yes, the cultist. And as you might guess, we are in control of the demons this time. And for the time being, I'm going to stick with Heroic. I'm going to stick with Heroic as long as I can last on the difficulty. We'll see if I can beat all the missions like that. But uh, next is the demon one, so off we go. With loads of looting. Alright, uh, starting bonus, you can get a morale boost, uh, more dogs, or hell chargers. It really depends on your preference, I think. It, it doesn't make that big of a difference. So, we're just going to go... Well, I'll go with hell chargers. I like them, they're fun. You are quick, Miara. What news of our enemies? Ah, no! You can't see. Strong Griffin forces block all the major roads between us and the city of Gehenna. Well, that's no good. Our scouts have reported an elite unit led by Godric that snaps at our heels. Godric? They can never seem to find these scouts. I, I always see scouts. <laughs> yeah, right, actually. Isabel. She has departed in tears, taking her favorite corpse to its funeral. Godric has become her instrument of vengeance, and he wants you alive. So, no friendly towns, no reinforcements, and no chance to rest. Nothing like a little challenge to spice up the dull wake, huh? <laughs> That's the attitude, Agrael. Good job. Alright, so our objectives on this one, find a route back to the demon lands and Agrael must survive. Yes, this is a runaway mission. If you took logistics on Godric, well, good luck. Because <laughs> you might need some. But I didn't, so I should be okay. Uh, one thing you probably do want to pick up is the boots of the swift journey. I don't have logistics yet. I'm almost certain this hut gives it to you. But um, let's, let's try and get those boots. And yeah, I mean... <laughs> You're gonna see some casualties, no matter what you do, I think. I don't know of a good way to approach this battle to avoid casualties. These guys hit really hard. Uh, one thing I could do... Maybe I should have taken Hellhounds just to get an extra stack to split imps or something, I don't know. Hmm. Let's see here. Okay, I definitely don't need the Pit Lords in the middle. Uh, reason being that the Pit Lords just don't have the speed. They're not going to cross the map. Succubus, kind of limited. Whatever, let's just go. Hmm. Can I gate? Yes. Okay, let's do some gating. This guy cannot gate. I'm just going to move him up a few tiles. Yeah, he'll be able to attack that group of nine. Let's gate some more, and gate some more. Can, no, my uh, dogs cannot gate. Okay, I guess I should explain gating. Uh, this is a lot less straightforward when you're just starting to play than training was, which simply allowed you to upgrade some troops from your town, from the lower tiers to the higher tiers, assuming they're human. With gating, it's a special ability, you, you cast it like you cast any spell, and you pick where they go, and then after a while, let me see if I can show it. Yeah, you see these flashing guys? That's Those are units that will appear just for this battle. And another important thing to remember about gating is that if all of your troops that are not gated are, di are dead, your gated troops will disappear and you lose. <laughs> so, uh, bear that in mind as well. Um... Sure. Rough them up a little. Might as well attack uh, the one that's going to get an attack first, even though I'm not going to kill anything apparently. And I wanted to split my imps up somewhat just because I wanted some fodder for later, and so that's the route I'm going. Kill one or kill one. 38 or 11. It really doesn't matter, just burn something. How are these things? Oh, they have less hit points than I remembered. I should have just taken the dogs. Yeah. Well, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and sit tight. Let my gated troops appear. Maybe burn some retaliations. 
You wait too. Can I? I'm going to go here so I can attack either set of them, but they cannot attack me. I'm just going to wait to set up a no retaliation type of situation here. Get you out of range. Get you out of range. Um. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm killing a whole lot here. In that case. Yeah, vulnerability is significant sometimes. Ha! Yes, that is something noteworthy about the AI. I'm not sure it was always this way, like say back in Vanilla 1.0, but the AI does not like gated uh, troops. They It will not attack them normally, unless it has no other choice. Like if it's completely blocked, okay, yeah, sure, it'll attack them. This guy's not gated. What I want to do here is I want to burn a retaliation with gated troops because they don't count against your losses. And, um, yeah, maybe use Drew to block things a little bit here. Yep, we'll just do a, uh, surround and pound type of setup. Why not? And, uh, yeah, he won't be able to reach me. I want to keep the dogs alive because they friggin' hurt. Throw it on the fireball. In this case, since I don't want to get shot, I'm just going to move my imps in the way. <laughs> Good enough. Oh, you're not a... Oh, okay. Let's go for two kills. Got it. Yeah, I like this no retaliation here. Well, that's sort of like a retaliation. And again, I can't kill anything, so it really doesn't matter who I attack. But I might get more kills on the counter this way. Yeah, unfortunately... Um... On heroic, these maps start to get brutal. Yeah, we're not running around in kid gloves any longer. This is actually going to start to be a little bit challenging from time to time. Ah, shoot! Whatever, I'm not reloading for that. Do they have enough damage to kill one of these? No, not with me at full health. Although... Yeah, I'll get two attacks on it anyway. Nope, no mana. Run up there, Mr. Vorpal Blades. And yeah, the one one of the good things about the demon troops is their high initiative. Although I didn't need that run proc to happen just then. Yeah, pretty bad losses actually. That ranged attack really hosed me. I might have even lost more than the quick battle because of that. Yeah, you know, just the minor lapse in your paying attention, and it really costs you. Want to make sure that's equipped for sure. Yes. All right. Yeah. Boots of Swift Journey, pretty significant. Witch huts. Oh, hut of the Magi. Okay, so this is the witch hut. Yeah, we're gonna want to see where we're going. <laughs> and only now have I actually read my comments about caravans, but unfortunately. I'm not going to be able to, to test out caravans until mission 3. The Inferno missions really don't give you a lot of chances to build up troops. And yes, you do get logistics from a witch hut. You also want to be careful where you go and where you spend your movement points to get. Uh, especially on Heroic, you can come into problems for certain. But you also do want to make sure you pick up some money, so it's a balancing act. Hmm. Oh, I hate to squeeze imps, but I'm going to. Oh yeah, I would have been out of fodder. Well, it doesn't feel very much like fodder any longer at that point. But, whatever. Hopefully I can do better than the computer this time. I seem to be hitter. Oh no, what am I doing? I need to gate. <laughs> Although I can't really gate to potential anyway here. But it's still better to gate than not. And of course I say that then don't do it. But really only my imps can do it anyway. And in stacks of one, gating has a chance to fail unless you have like the kind of gating that lets you gate 100% units or something. Okay, I did not mean to do that. That's alright. A little bit of sloppy play at first. 
But we'll get there. Okay, I think I want to wear on this stack. And then try and keep this one over there for like an extra round or something. That should work out. And then I'll lose one imp. Ah, uh, just sit tight, sit tight. Yeah, okay. Not gated. Or was it? No, I think that was gated. No, it wasn't. What are you? Okay, I only gated the one. Whatever. You're my sack imp. Oh, I had to have gated more than one. <laughs> Don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, I can attack here without being retaliated. Alright. Unfortunately... Well, whatever. Fireball. Get roasted alive. I didn't have to lose anything, but I'm going to lose one unit. Not really sure why I played this battle out, actually. Probably wasn't worth it. Could have just kept the losses. Ah, good. We got War Machines right away. Yes, this will be another campaign of War Machine abuse. Not going to waste movement on a signpost. Blade Dancers. Eldritch Well. Several unicorns. See, and they tempt you with those stables, which would be extremely useful to have. Um, the well less so, because I'm at full mana and can't cast spells. But how many is several? That's the problem. Several can be a lot or not that many, just depending. You know, there's ranges on these things. Yeah. Hi. And if Godric gets to you, you're pretty much toast. You're not going to beat lots of angels. I think that's pretty well true on any difficulty, too. You'll, uh, you'll get stomped by Godric if he catches you. So don't let him. <laughs> um, do I want to go down here? I don't think so. No, this is, um, this is death. Now, one thing I don't remember too well is where to go. If I'm supposed to fight my way through these blade dancers or not, or if there's an alternative path that follows, uh... No, there's water this way. I just don't remember. I'm gonna save here. Because <laughs> if it's one of those things like, you chose poorly, well, I mean, come on. <laughs> What do you want from me? Um... I think we can leave well enough alone there. Yeah, you can hide in the sanctuary if you want. Gold is good. Ooh, I can grab some imps or familiars. That's useful. Horde of Scouts would probably be a little bit tough. Although they don't have the poison. They are still shooters, though. And I just don't have the, the oomph yet to really lay down on that. So, yeah. I think this is the way to be. Yeah, if Godric has expert logistics, you might need to like duck into that sanctuary. I'm not 100% sure of how that works or where he goes while you just hide there. But the monsters on the map will build up in power as you do, as you wait. Ah, Garden of the Wee Folk. What have we here? Several earth elementals. I can probably beat that without too much difficulty. It would be nice if the uh, quick combat would humor me a little bit more frequently than it is. But okay. <laughs> As you will, I suppose. Wow, they, um, oh, they are 75 hit points dudes this time. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to worry about gating. And there are times where it's better to gate or not to gate. Well, of course I'm going to gate with my large stack. But I want these stacks to keep their attention over there, too. Will they be able to reach? Maybe not if I move properly. Work on those. Yeah, just sit tight. 
I only can get one kill. Are they immune to meteor shower? They might be. They just might be immune to everything I have. What is their defense stat? 11 to... Yeah, I actually don't have that high of an attack stat on most of my dudes here. Vulnerability might be a better use of my mana. Let's work them down a little bit. Protect the M, Cerberus, whatever for now. Oh, actually, yes. Um, <laughs> I want to draw them to me. Wow, they're slow. Fine, let's see what I can do here. I want to be able to gate more. Okay, so... Unfortunately, he can reach my succubus unless I move. I'm going to have to eat one of these stacks. And the other one, not so much. And I think I'd rather not move my succubus. So, we're going to focus down the top stack here. Preferably, well, no. Can I get out of his range? Probably can. Ah, good. I can get up there. Oh, but he can reach that. The only space he can't reach is... I'll get multiple moves, though. Okay. So, I'll work... I'll work this uh, differently. I want to make sure I can really dogpile on these Earth Elementals. What? Oh, they're unlimited retaliation. I'd forgotten. Shoot. <laughs> so much for chewing on retaliations, huh? So I just need to get my dogs out of the way. I don't think they can... No, they're not even close to being able to kill my pit lords. Throw another vulnerability on them. And then let's just get out of the way. Oh wow, the Cerberus are pretty impressive on th with their initiative advantage. Or it's really just that Earth Elemental's initiative is awful. They're 5 and I have 13, yeah, so I get like 2 moves to their 1, just by design. Well worth the effort, because I'm going to get a spell as a result. Although not a very useful one, by the looks. Well, it can be. Oh, they're, um... They're guarding a stat-up building. <laughs> Why must you tempt me so cruelly? And what is this? Hunter's Cabins? That's not too useful to me. I'm gonna need to fight my way through the, um... Squires, though. Probably. I think that's the path. Or it might be a path. I don't know. I'll be annoyed if I have to reload this because I just simply went the wrong direction. As long as that doesn't happen, I'm okay. Hunters. A horde of hunters. It's just brutal. Okay, let's do this properly. <laughs> <laughs> Split some more imps. If anyone knows of a hotkey similar to like H3HD that lets you do more with your your hotkey, your uh, what is it? Like if I could just hold control and get like one man stack splits. Anyway, that would be really useful. So if anyone knows something like that, definitely let me know. Alright, how are these guys on speed? They're not the speediest fellas out there. So we're gonna take advantage once again. Have great morale charge. Yes. <laughs> a couple of you pointed that out, and I agree. It is a little silly. <laughs> Ooh, I can catch two people in the meteor shower. Yeah, having great morale while charging to one's death. It takes a certain kind of personality, I guess. Um, I am gating already. Okay. And it's not a big deal that they're standing where I'm gating either. Yeah, I'm gonna sit tight, because otherwise they'll run up and kill me. Aw, oh, man. You got a morale. He did too. Well, that's, um, 
makes life a little more challenging, certainly. Still, they're not in reach of me, so I'm not too worried yet. Let's just run back here. Let me go ahead and wait still. I want to be able to double move them before I commit to that. One of them should still start forward. And it will be you, so I'm going to focus you down. Oh, um... I can kill a good chunk of them first. Yeah, that should work. <laughs> Not what I was going for, but I guess this is still fine. Sit tight. I throw a couple of vulnerabilities around. I think that's going to be more effective. And we have obviously focused the guy with vulnerability. In fact, might as well use these familiars for that regard since whatever. I don't think vulnerability does a lot to hero attacks. Alright. Oh, I kill all seven this way. Well, that works. I am blocking myself. Smooth. Oh, we got this. Once again, limiting the losses. Yeah, much better than the way the computer did it. Alright. So... I need to remember what these things do. As a demon lord, you barely want to take destructive magic. It is one of the two schools that Inferno builds up, but... You just don't have the spell power for it, typically. Uh, the other reason I don't like destructive magic or dark magic in the Inferno campaign is that, um, in particular, both of those are not... Well, I guess you can get some destructive from Sylvan, but you're going to be in control of a lot more Sylvan towns than you will uh, Inferno towns. So there's not going to be much access to dark magic in Mage Guild. So I'm going to prefer the uh, light magic, because that's the most relevant thing to a pure might hero, or close to it. Mark of the Damned. I forget, that might actually be useful to me. So, um... Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to not take it and then have it be useful. Hold on, viewers. I am going to uh, look that up, what, what that leads to on this skill wheel. Alright, we're back, and after looking it up, I decided that I actually am interested in pathfinding because it unlocks swift gating, which will allow my gating to reach the enemy more rapidly. So I'm going to take pathfinding, actually. Pretty handy. Alright, um... Now I have a question of whether I want to try and take on a whole bunch of hunters for one stat up or not. I, I think they would really maul my forces. I, I think that's one that I'm going to skip on this difficulty. Which is unfortunate, because I would be stronger if I didn't skip it. The other reason is I'll lose movement doing it, which could also be problematic. Alright, so here's something else I want to make sure I do. I want to trade away all my resources for gold, because I have nothing to use anything except gold to buy. So since it's here, do it. Is there a hotkey for Max, or do I have to drag my mouse over there and click on it? It'd be useful to know. I think I'm reasonably good on... well... It's a balancing act. If I take experience, it makes me stronger in future scenarios, more so than this one. If I take gold, I can buy some troops later. But, um, we'll go with experience. Alright, um, consume course would allow me to do... Um, what is it? <laughs> All I can show you. There we go. Yes, Consume Corp... This is for vanilla, of course. They changed this in future ones. So, Consume Corpse opens up Teleport Assault. Um, Teleport Assault sounds cool, but in practice, when I ran through this, I didn't use it a whole lot. Um, same thing with Dark Magic. I really don't want to take Dark Magic unless I'm absolutely, positively sure that I have spells that will actually benefit from it. And since we're only building up one Inferno Town in the entire campaign, and it's at a point where you're, 
I'm largely in control of the campaign already. I'm going to skip on it and hope I get light magic on a devil, I know. <laughs> Actually, their draw on light magic is not unreasonable. And yeah, you're seeing a little bit with the stat distribution here. Attack and knowledge is really coming to the fore. Alright, another set of experience. Definitely want more Cerberus. Ooh, skeleton archers. Which way am I supposed to go here? I mean, I saw an enemy hero up there. Well, I'm gonna walk here and see what I s see what reveals itself to me. I suspect I'm supposed to go north, and so I shall. Um. This is interesting. Can I do better than that? I suspect it's possible if I leave only the right troops out. The problem is... Can you... Thank you. I don't have any sources of damage yet. My hero himself isn't that powerful. <sighs> well... I really don't want to lose these guys. They're going to be too useful later. You're kind of blocked if you're there, so we're going to do that. And that. Let's see how this works. Do they have enough damage? 1 to 2 with a low attack skill. I can probably just charge with these guys. I charge with these guys. Maybe gate just and see if it works. Oh no, they did kill one. What the heck? Oh. Yeah, obviously they would. Unless, well, I thought my defense skill would be high enough. 14 versus 2. I would need to look at that formula again. Do I have anything? Oh, I have Righteous Might. That's for another time. Yeah, I gated nothing because I only had one troop in the stack. That's something to, to worth noting there. Let's just kill some skeletons. Oh, well, that sucks. I, I didn't think they would kill me. I misplayed that. Well, they can't now. And yeah, they're going for the imp stand. They didn't even kill an imp. This isn't the trade I would have ideally gone for, but I'll accept the outcome. Ooh, swift gating or advanced war machines. <laughs> Both of those are pretty useful. I'm actually going to go advanced war machines. I want to get access to them soon. Alright, a little bit more knowledge. Here's some stables. It's kind of duplicated. And yeah, he's uh, wasting very little time catching me. Actually, that's making me nervous. I could have sworn I didn't give him logistics. Ooh, a war machine factory. Let's go there. Alright, definitely want this, this. Do I want an ammo cart? I don't really have the kind of ranged troops that would make me care. Is that a Morletto tower? It's an archer's tower. Alright, forget that. We can ignore the archer's tower. Let's just <laughs> get away from Godric. Ah, oh, what? Are you kidding me? What? I, I have nowhere to go. I don't think I can get away from him on this path. Well, maybe. Maybe I can make it to the sanctuary. Let's find out, shall we? No, I'm pretty sure I can handle them. Yeah, let's do this. So you ain't, you ain't, you gate. Everyone gates. Not one of you are gating successfully. Yeah, Ballista's not going to do much at first. And I'm probably going to get frowned upon for 
spamming Ballista in my first two campaign sets, but I really like it. And I, I feel like I didn't get to use it as much as I even wanted to in the first Heroes of Might and Magic Let's Play I did with Heroes 3. It's so much fun to use the Ballista to me. <laughs> Just make him vulnerable. Yeah, no, don't do that. Now these guys, on the other hand, they can do some damage and they don't get retaliated, so... Pretty handy. Nope. Alright. Oh, my dogs don't get another move? Before the footman? That's really bad, actually. Oh, let's uh, risk sacking some imps. It's better than the alternative. I should be able to knock their numbers down a lot, but... Oh, these are... <laughs> I gated imps are gonna have to take one for the team here. Yeah, this'll do. <laughs> Alright! Piece of cake. <laughs> um, monolith one-way... wait, what? One-way entrance? Okay. And red key master tent. But I don't think I can get away from these guys, so I'm I'm ducking in the sanctuary here. That's uh oh, just the eye of the magi. All right, let's see what happens. Maybe they'll back off. All right, here's another thing. I don't know how the mechanics work because you can sit in a sanctuary pretty well indefinitely. I'm gonna try doing that. <laughs> well, hopefully he goes the other direction a little bit and does not just camp me. Alright, one more turn and if they move away a little bit more, then I'll just go. No, I don't like that positioning. Really? I need Godric off of me. Okay, that's Rutger. No, Godric, I'm in a sanctuary. You don't you don't cheat that way. Alright, looks like I have no choice. I'm going to have to go on. No way around it. And hopefully I have No no don't ah, whatever. Alright, so I got that. Let's take some gold just in case I need it. And there's a red border guard. Alright, my first playthrough, like, Godric was here, and I'm like, shoot! But, oh no. Got a cutscene. The gates! Where is that damn tunnel on the gates to Sheon? If I hadn't used them myself, I would almost swear they didn't exist. Well, Agriel, you're also the type that can't find your car when you park it at a theme park. Well, in that case, you are similar to me. Because <laughs> that's happened to me before, too. I, I couldn't find my car. Ah, yes, ghosts. I, I really wanted to fight ghosts. So, okay, I needed that Keymaster tent, and I am remembering this a little bit better. I needed that Keymaster tent to get through here and get the Shio. Druids, huh? I don't even know what he's guarding. What he's guarding isn't apparent. Inquisitor. Ah, <laughs> uh, considering that they are powerful ranged troops. Yeah, I don't need that. I need to uh, win the mission. Axe of Mountain Lord does not carry over. Throng of Plague Zombies. I probably could take them. Well, no. Here's the thing. I definitely could take them, but... <laughs> Viewers, it's going to be slow. <laughs> That's my only reason. I don't want to put up with it. <laughs> you know what? I actually, I'll accept this outcome. Screw it. I don't want to spend forever running 
a pair my Cerberus around the map while my low-level hero and undeveloped Ballista beat on them. Yes, we're taking this. We're taking this right now. I have good reason for taking this. <laughs> Alright, let's see how long I can evade Godric's chase. I think I did that with a good position on him. He's going to be behind me considerably if he doesn't take the monolith, and it doesn't look like he is. Let's get some experience. Why not? I don't know if I'll level cap on this one. Am I good on mana? Close enough. I don't need to stop at the well with my mana like that. Alright, no path down there, so let's go up here. <laughs> kind of junky, but meat shields are useful. Alright. <laughs> go away, Godric. <laughs> now, I have a pretty considerable lead on him now. And I guess that's what you would have to do, um, is use the sanctuary. Lots of vampires. You see, on my first playthrough, I actually avoided them um, because Godric was so close on my heels that it I just <laughs> I, I didn't have time to walk this extra little distance. But in this case, I think it's a little bit different. So Let's um, get my two dudes. Split them up. Just in case I want to really pile it on. The key unit here, though, is definitely the Cerberus. If only I could use Divine Guidance. But, uh, whatever. Can I gate with them yet? No, I cannot gate with them yet. Gate with them. Now let's see how the Ballista is looking. Not too bad. Starting to do uh, a little bit of respectable damage, at least. I'm pretty sure my Cerberus can either one-shot or close enough the vampires. Yeah, definitely. Now. Oh. Oh, they gotta move before anything else. How am I losing units, then? Come on, game. I think these are the only other guys you can gate at um, base gating. If you level up gating, you can do a little better. But in this case, it doesn't matter. I can just uh, one-shot them with my three-headed doggies. Well, that's handy. I wasn't expecting that, that this lucky with the war machines. Although some of you might not feel it's that lucky and, you know, feel like war machines are subpar. But I like war machines in campaign for their rush value. And man, do they have some. Oh, uh, maybe I should start stop messing around. It seems like they've, uh, they found their way to being a little bit closer. Okay, well, I've had my fun. <laughs> I got some money. I'm actually going to have more forces than in my test run. Yeah. I have some separation. Alright, so that knight's going to give up, but Godric won't. He'll keep chasing us. Alright, spacebar to continue. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, come on. I lost the movement on that. I forgot. Alright, hellhounds. Ugh. Really? <laughs> you really gotta do this to me, game? Alright. Well, I might as well. Let's put out one imp. Never know. Interesting. Yeah, these guys are fast, so it might not work out for me. You wait too. Shoot, I can't reach them. 
Well, I can with these guys, but that's not going to be anything useful. Um, my Cerberus can easily destroy that stack or take it down close enough. You sit tight. Man. Uh, just that for now, I guess. Yeah, work on this stack. Ooh, a lucky hit. Quite nice, quite nice. Just in case it's not enough, I'm gonna throw that buff on. Yeah, you don't have the same... Oh, they, are, they can reach my Cerberus, though. Well, it doesn't look like I have an, a choice in this regard. Let's just, uh... Let's just go. Maybe I do need to let them uh, have some target practice with my imps. How much does this would kill three, this would kill three... I think this is better, just from a straight damage mitigation standpoint. <laughs> Demons are slow. The one thing I could do, though, is I could sit tight for my first aid tent, and then use that to rejuvenate anything that they kill. Or I can lose them permanently on a retaliation, of course. Well, whatever. Let's grab our creatures that we got. And continue on. Not sure about the ore. Fire elementals will completely ruin my day. Ah, let's not repeat mistakes. So I'm just gonna skip on the fire elementals. Much as I would like the experience, kinda brutal. What am I doing on levels? I'm level 7. It's not great. More fire elementals. The problem with fire elementals is that in this game they're shooters. You see, I did not know that originally. Hellfort, guarded by several whites. Well, how many is several? <laughs> More than a few. If that's all, you know, well, I might be able to do better than that. That's interesting, though. Oh my gosh. I can't split anything because I have too much nonsense. Yeah, they're pretty fast. Gate. And... Gate. And wait. Yeah. These guys, they don't want to mess around. Can I get a kill? Well, I can now. Um. At least their initiative's not super high. Well, I gotta do this. Get them out of here. Oh. That was much easier than I thought it would be. Alright then. To the extent that I have money for it. <laughs> Fortunately, I have Pathfinding and Godric does not. The difference is quite uh, apparent, to put it lightly. Now that's looking better. And I'm in so much better shape than my first playthrough on this. I should be fine. Famous last words. Uh, water elementals are casters, and I really don't need artifacts that don't carry over. Spectral dragons. What are you guarding? <laughs> well, it is a good weapon. Several of them, though? See, the problem with spectrals is I think they can get across the map immediately. And they have enough initiative that I they might do that before I get a turn. So I'm just going to skip on that. I don't want to go reloading. And I don't think any- I need to check again. What are they guarding? Yeah. So they have good items and experience, but they're not, they don't have anything permanent. Ah, here we go. The so first part of this mission is successful.
Nice terrain. Enjoyable place to live. What's this? Attacked by that scum Horatio and his horned idiots? Oh, perhaps the Sovereign has discovered my independent mindset. That means trouble. <laughs> Sounds like it, yes. <laughs> so, okay. We don't have a lot of choice. Oh, well. We win, apparently. But since this is the last fight of the map, why don't we actually make the fight happen? <laughs> apparently I did well enough in my earlier fights, though. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, I'm kind of clumped and he is. Oh no, that's my dude. Let's throw some nonsense near his uh, sucky bunny. Um, yeah, you hold tight. I see. I don't want to get nuked by his pit lords. Oh, I can, uh... Wow. I'm going to pay for it, but it's too good to pass up. Yeah. <laughs> kind of on the strong side there. Oh, that's right, my attacks won't bounce, and neither will theirs because of the demon troops thing. Um, not a lot of kills there. I'm gonna work on the Horned Demons because the Ballista's attack isn't as high just yet. Let's resurrect some guys. I did gate already, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Ariel can do a good bit of damage. <laughs> yes, you have explosion on these guys. One of the few useful things about them. And they don't die when they're uh, leveled up either. But I'm going to gate over here. Um, yeah, I might as well kill them before they get a move. Succubus will be tied up, and I might be able to do something about the good old devil here. Ha! <laughs> he just moved out of the way. That works too, I suppose. Burn a retaliation. Probably not necessary. And the devil's dead. And let's just yeah. This is actually a reasonably easy fight, not surprisingly. It is the first mission in the campaign, after all. Ooh. Once again, uh, swift gating, very handy, potentially very handy but it's not the only thing that's useful <laughs> I got a spell power shoot <laughs> it's really nice when you're actually working in destructive magic expert logistics is quite handy too I think I'm actually going to delay on it though until I get another good secondary skill this will give me more chances at light magic if I take swift gating because then I can you know if I see basic light magic I can take it if I don't I can um, I can take expert logistics later. I will guarantee to be offered it. Plus, swift gating is actually a good skill, so I, I'm going to take it. So scrumming him, let us discuss your death. Tell me why you were here, and it will be fast. Otherwise, I shall turn you over to Miara. <laughs> and it will be excruciatingly slow. Please, Eraziel, refuse to talk. No! I... <laughs> <laughs> I like that reaction. Is the artifact that Nikolai used in the battle the heart of the griffin? The other is your head! Your head would look good on the end of a pole. My head? Why? A demon sovereign knows I am loyal. Apparently not. You lie! You have betrayed him and he knows! Carmelette will protect me. He will... Yeah. What will I do? Go on, please. Tell me. Give me orders. I love that. 
Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Master! Master, I did not mean it! You fail. You lose. You pay. I know you. Your ambitions. You are strong. But I am patient. You're next. Hmm. Well, that seems like fun. Ah, uh, we get my offered <laughs> Mark of the Damned again. Actually, I haven't been offered any upgrades in gating, so I don't have to uh, rush into that. And teleport assault wouldn't necessarily be bad. It has its uses. But we're going to get logistics for now, because that's going to help us in the next mission quite readily. Alright, we succeeded. <laughs> it took, uh... Three weeks, but you know, a month, three weeks, five days. Still not bad. As long as you stick to that, you're uh, you're in pretty good shape. You can micro battles better than I did, but apparently you can also get away with microing them worse. Cause that wasn't even close. Ah uh, yes, this mission. Well, yours. You almost always want to take Phantom Forces just because it's the only bonus here that carries over into future missions. It's not that great with the build that I'm choosing to go, but it's it's still okay, I guess. Um, you can mess up the AI. They'll really want to attack some. They'll want to attack the Phantom Forces a lot to get rid of them. So you can use that to save on some forces, and it'll be more useful in future missions. I don't need the other bonuses for this one, so we take Phantom Forces. Betrayal of which Raziel spoke. Flattened his teammates Aren't with a ghost. One of the sovereign's most betrayed. Betrayal. I will explain later. Now is not the time to talk. Now is the time to run. <laughs> no. He knows I'm with you. So I am tainted by your treachery. I'm risking my life, and I deserve to know. Man, now if only JRPG protagonists were so. Genre savvy. <laughs> Something happened while I was undercover in Griffin Lands. It made me question Kabbalah's plans. Question our sovereign? You <sighs> would consider that. It's an interesting way of putting it, Agriel. Done it. Now he knows, and how does he know? Who spied on me? It doesn't matter now. <laughs> he mentioned your ambitions. <laughs> You want to replace him, don't you? Yeah, it doesn't matter. To rule okay, Viara. That is madness. Apparently, Agriel's uh, reasonably genre savvy, well, too. I should not give my plans away so easily, but. If anyone could do it, it is you. And you will remember those who helped you. Yes. So, what is the next step, my lord? Or should I say, my sovereign? Man, way to play both sides. To get the heart of the Griffin, you saw it in action. Yes, we must have that. I know where they keep it in the Griffin King's mausoleum, a hall of heroes. It's in the middle of the Empire, well defended. So there'll be a lot of killing. What's the bad news? <laughs> you know, Biara, I'm glad I have you as an ally. Rather than an enemy. Yeah, and I'm sure she'll always be an ally in all campaigns, no matter which faction we're controlling. Certainly. Certainly, there's, there's going to be no problems later. Alright, viewers, that takes care of the first mission of the Inferno campaign. I will see you in the next part. Main team, signing off.